So a testamentary trust is, is very simply uh, a, a trust which is testamentary. Now, I know that sounds <laughs> obvious, but what that means, of course, is that a trust simply means that somebody, a trustee, holds assets on behalf of somebody else, being the beneficiary. And the testamentary part simply means it's a trust set up within your will. So it therefore is in your will, and therefore, like any other will, it occurs on death. Now, the, the forms of testamentary trusts are, are many. It depends on, on what they're used for, but they can be as fixed, as flexible as we like, depending on the drafting. Now, the benefits of, a say, a usual testamentary trust is that it, it allows two things. One is it, it allows the, the, the benefit of asset protection for the beneficiary, and secondly, it allows minimising tax for that beneficiary as well. Now, very briefly, in relation to the asset protection, it gives asset protection both in the, to some extent, the matrimonial law and de facto law, if, for example, that beneficiary then breaks up with his or her partner or, or spouse. And secondly, if, for example, that beneficiary is in um, a bankruptcy risk, if, for example, they're a director of a company or they own a business or, or something like that, then it means that they want to protect those assets from bankruptcy. The second benefit is tax, and that's minimising tax both from an income streaming point of view, as well as minimising tax from minimising the impact of capital gains tax. Now, just in relation to the income streaming, the big benefit here through a testament of trust is looking after beneficiaries who are children. Normally, we pay penalty rates of tax for those children, but in relation to a testamentary trust, it means that we get greater rates of tax to look after those children, basically meaning that each child, each financial year, can receive up to a, about $20,500 each, each financial year, before any tax is paid whatsoever. So that means if, for example, we have three children who are under the age of 18, then it means that beneficiary can receive, so, so that, the, for example, the... the, the the mother of those or the father of those children can pay up to those children up to say about $61,500 before any tax is paid, then marginal tax rates after that. Which is fantastic because it means that they can use that for schooling, other educational expenses and all those other normal household expenses for those children, which are normally paid in after tax.